So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. I'm gonna show you two ways on how you can get here. So for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. I'm on Windows right now, I can sign into it. So if you can sign into Windows, then you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And then once you're on this, next to advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now and then click on restart now again. It's then gonna take you into that screen. And if you cannot sign into Windows, then for the second way, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times. It will then take you into this screen. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times. It will then take you into this screen. And it's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly. You wanna click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in bootrec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. And now you need to type in bcd edit space forward slash export space c colon backslash bcd backup and click on enter. And now we're going to type in attrib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s. Click on enter. If you get this error, just ignore it. Now you need to type in ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old and click on enter again and now you're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd click on enter again wait for this to load and now on your screen it should be saying total identified windows installations one then you should be getting something else you're gonna type in y and then click on enter and now you're gonna type in exit click on enter again and now you just want to continue to windows and then the problem should be fixed